Hi, it's me, John underscore Silva underscore Streamer of the Year. <laughs> Just kidding. Uh, D Mage has a question for today's decodes, uh, and he says, um, "I have a question about Cedric. That last name. His art style is pretty distinctive. True. Uh, is it all about shapes he uses and the values, or is something else too?" Um, Okay, so the the dude is a beast. Um, that is for damn sure. He knows what he's doing. He's a very good uh, drawer, and that is the main. Th he's very good at rendering. Don't get me wrong, but the bread and butter is the skeleton skeleton that compromises um, or that 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 builds the whole figure. Um, there's two things to it. First of all, he's very good at drawing. And even if there is, I'm still a bit slightly doubtful that maybe there's a hint of photo bashing here and there for details. But I will say that for this image, uh, I don't think so. Maybe in like very small amounts, but it's honestly um, not even worth mentioning because that's not the reason why his work looks the way it looks. There's two things that make up, in from what I'm seeing, make up his style to be so distinctive. Number one proportion there is that is the number one thing why his stuff looks so fucking cool um i admittedly i didn't know who was the artist behind a lot of the dishonored and stuff that that, that mostly dishonored um games i know Ser sergey uh was art directing for that i think i'm going to zoom Zoom on this, on the face. We'll start with the face first, and then I'll I'll explain the rest. There's not gonna be much painting here. There will be a little bit, just a little bit. Um, let's hide the other ones. All right. So the main thing you want to take away from this is, I'll even do it with pink. Is the proportions, uh, of course, what you mentioned in your own question, I, I feel like you kind of got it as well. It's like the shapes he uses is very, very, very um, iconic, but it's the combination of shapes plus proportion that make his characters or his art look the way it looks. Um, I, I honestly love, love uh, the look on, on, on his work. So let's, um, I'm going to lower down. And let's do a little bit of tracing. So, it's all about the dimensions plus shape, as you, as I just mentioned seconds ago, and you can figure it out too. Where he simplifies um, the way he renders is very re realistically, but actually his proportions and and even shapes are quite stylized. That's why you you, you can't quite pinpoint. Um, like what kind of style does he have because it's quite unique the ratio of stylization versus realism um it's it's balanced to his tastes which makes makes it quite um makes it quite interesting to to look at you know um so we'll start I'm we're going to separate um major parts on the portrait and we'll do the same for the i just want to show you the proportions mainly and we'll do the same for the um for the body this is what makes it the sim the simplicity so he might render hair realistically you know each strand of hair each clump of hair whatsoever but the outline that makes up the the design in this case the hair Versus, let's do it in blue. Uh, versus the f the head shape. Now look look at this head shape. Uh, of course you have little like bumps and whatnot, but if we're gonna even simplify it further in, it's just like bam, bam, bam. Okay, we can maybe even count with this crease here because it's quite sharp, and then. There you go. It's super iconic. Very like st 
straight, angular. Uh, there's a little bit of roundness to the chin, obviously, but like just that. Oh, is this too contrasty? Is this hurting your eyes? I might do it in black. There you go. Um, just these two things in itself look quite stylized without any render whatsoever, right? Uh, now, if we keep going, uh, the position of the eyes and the shape of the eyes and the size of the eyes, so it's, it's placement, shape, and um, size. Those are the three main things you want to look for in his work. Uh, that will make it a lot more distinctive. So you have the eyes. I'll do it, I'll do it in, in black too. So the eyes are quite small compared to the rest of the face, which which in return makes it more realistic, actually. Uh, the schnauzer is actually... Actually, she has some pretty big eye bags. I would include that on the on the eye portion. And it's quite outlined as well. He's not hiding it from anyone, right? Uh, the placement of the eyebrows and the nose uh, are, are, are making the character even more stylized ever so slightly. So I'll do it in like, uh, I guess, green. So you have the shape of the eyebrow here. Uh, probably you have the other one hidden, but we can't... I don't think you can really see it. It's kind of like here or whatever. It probably continues a little bit. And then the nose, so it's shape and size. Look how big this is compared to like, especially her nostrils. Look how no how big the nostrils are. Let me hide this. Like, the balance between every element, especially if it's in focus, like eyes, the five, or the, the general um, features of the face, eyebrows, eyes, nose, lips, um, hair, the composition between each other and the position, size, and shape dictate his style. Um, and let's do the let's do the lips as well. well let's do the lips in red. Um, so again, I'm pretty like I'm outlining his character uh, shapes, and I I am simplifying on top of his. I'm I'm simplifying it further, but honestly, the difference between the shapes that I'm drawing versus his are very very minimal. He masks the stylization with a realistic render. I will talk about how he renders. At, towards the end, that's not what makes his main look. Uh, it may appear usually render and color steal the show of the actual reason why something looks good overall. Not just in his style, but in most people's style that 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 are quite unique. Uh, usually, the render and color steal the show, but that's really not the reason why it looks uh, this good. Um, so you have the shape of the lips, uh, I'm gonna hide, again, everything, and you see, uh, again, uh, if, if I spend more time outlining everything perfectly, maybe you could have an even better, I feel like the eyes could be a little smaller than the one I drew here, but like, tiny eyes, really big nose, but it doesn't appear to be that way, because of the size, when you compare the nose to the hair, and the nose to the lips, suddenly, when we look at it, it kind of normalizes it, and we think that it's just a realistic character that looks a bit um, more stylized, uh, like slightly stylized, but it's mostly realistic. Um, actually, I think in the real world, people are more look more stylized than you would actually assume based on photos, because usually when we look at photos. Um, it's usually of like models or like very symmetric looking people. If you take like a random Joe from outside, random Jason, you probably would notice that people are actually have a, a lot more fun characteristics and dimensions to their face than what we tend to draw whenever we do, do it realistically. Um, so yeah, uh. I did the face here. I, uh, the ears are actually quite important. I should have added the ears too. The ear, bam, bam, bam. It's literally just... It's a fucking like... 
It's ju it's just a stare. This is his ear. Look at this. Bam, 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 bam. It's just like it's so iconic. It's it's very uh, almost like a sculpture, you know, like a like someone chiseled in there. Um, so I will draw the size of the ear in comparison to everything else, and we have the face, right? So I'm gonna I'm gonna keep this now. The body is what I just said times 10. Look how long those arms actually are. But the way he... They look really long because he took advantage of rising the hips. It, it feels like the, the hips and the chest doesn't, don't aren't really like long. So by um, comparison, it makes the arms... Um, by contrast, it makes the arms look even longer than... than uh, it appears to be so I'm just gonna yoink this and zoom in quite a bit but we're gonna do the same for the character here like I said there's not gonna be much drawing for this for this one but uh, so the head let's take the whole shape of the head blah 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 that, that there's your head pretty much with a with the ear the ear is quite big especially on a smaller scale um, and then, all right, let's separate the torso. Let's do like a dark blue or actually a light blue, all right, new layer. And now the torso, the way you can, all, okay. So you can either pretend she has no clothes and just draw like the areas where, okay, here's a shoulder. Uh, here's the, here's where the, the elbow joint. Roughly would be, uh, actually would be a little higher than this, but, um, and you can like make little landmarks. Here's like the wrist joints, uh, and then the shape of the hand. You can either do that or you can, you know what, I'll just, I'll, I'll complete this and I'll make a new layer and show you another way to go about it. So you, you could have this. For, for each landmark, you know, shoulders, hips, um, like if there was a belly button, then belly button, joint. It's usually joints, uh, points of interest. Um, but another way you can do is, I'll make a new layer, is you separate the... He also stylizes the sizes of the, the clothing. Or, or more like he takes realism and simplifies, simplifies it just a little just a little bit in the shapes which makes them makes it look a lot more geometric right so you can just outline or separate the coat like that blah whoa, blah 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 this this is an exercise i used to do a lot and sometimes i do when i really can figure something out you just go in there and separate the uh the shapes and simplify them, except in this case, I don't really need to simplify them because they're already simplified for me. Uh, let's hide the character. So now we have that um, and we can keep going further. We, you can also do a combo of, I'll, I'll pick a different, different color. There you go. You can also do a combo where you add landmarks plus the shapes. So I would, it looks like the, the hips would be somewhere around here, the belly button somewhere there. Um, you don't really see the chest, but based on, okay, so here's like the, the diaphragm would be somewhere around here. So let's let add a landmark there. The crotch seems to, based on the, based on the um, folds, seems like the crotch would be somewhere there. And, um, I don't know if this is a joint, if this was a joint, then it, the anatomy is wrong, but I doubt that's where he would add a joint uh, based on how fucking good he is. Uh, so we'll, we'll kind of like... I'd say it's somewhere around there. I think this fold makes it look like it would be a joint, but I highly doubt that's the case. Um, then joints here, and then you can draw the rest of the shape of the feet. Right? And then you have landmarks plus... Um, you're gonna have landmarks plus 
the shapes that he that he has. So we're gonna continue with the rest, which is like the shirt, blah blah bloop, done done, done. All right. Um, then you have another big shape is the pants. I'll do it in yellow too, cause why not? All right. So the pants. It's pretty it's pretty straight, so I'm gonna mostly just straighten it out like that. Once again, this is like super cool style. I I, I love I, I love this kind of style. Um I can do the forearm thingy too, I guess. And um Oh, you know what? We'll just do the arm here too along with the there you go uh now let's hide the character and oh wait i forgot the legs whoa there you go and now you can see clearly without without the render you can see oh you know what this this shape is pretty big so i should separate that there you go um now without the um I'm also going to add the white backgrounds behind because it's going to be easier to see. Like so. All right. So without any of the interference, actually maybe black is better. There you go. Without the interference of the render, you can see the shape and size. Again, I I barely simplified the um the shapes he already got i tried to trace pretty much what he had and look how iconic the angles to everything is but because of the render obviously mine is a is a little more stylized than his but like when you look at it it's fucking dude it's it's pretty much that but because of the render and lighting it makes it seem that it's so goddamn realistic um but you just can't put your finger on what makes it stylized and the main answer is exactly exactly this now i know you want to know about render so i'm gonna touch on it not a lot but let's put this here all right so this is what makes his style th 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 this is the bread and butter reason as to why his style is so uh um distinctive as you put it um now the render there is a little bit to the render yes i uh, will do um where's the bigger there you go i will do a little bit of the head here let, let me move let me just make some space here for uh for this all right, I'll do it here in the center just a little bit because it's already going pretty long. So, the I, I'm trying to think of how can I explain this fast because render is not something you explain fast. <laughs> um, the combo you want to go with is a mix of, uh, first of all, he uses very geometric shapes uh for example i use this triangle brush right um for the sake of speed i'm gonna color pick uh his colors and i'll do a really quick um version of this but it's like omega fast chat okay just the face too So, it is a combination, from what I can tell, it's a combination of, you start with geometric shapes, also a different eraser, you start with geometric shapes, and then you add soft gradients to it with a soft brush, and then you go back to it with, um, like, triangular brushes, squared, like, or even this brush, I, I think... He uses a little bit of this brush here and there for like the smaller, um, like pencil. It's like a pencil render at the end. 
Um, so it's a combo of those three. I'll, I'll do a little bit of it. Um, nothing too crazy. So you have a shape here. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna lock transparency on that. Let's apply some of the construction. Right. Like so. Uh, the, the side lighting, the, the the this lighting here, I'm sure it was done on a overlay layer. So we're gonna ignore that for now. Um, at least it looks like. So I'm pretty sure he has established his values first. So let's do that. And then went in with a soft brush. Or, I, I don't know if you went with a soft brush, uh, fucking uh, smudge tool, I really don't know. But one way you can get to it is by just going back to what the, the shapes you had already pre-established. Soften them up. Of course, I'm cheating a lot. I'm sure there was a lot more steps to it um, to, to, get to, to get to this point. Because I'm just color picking the final result, but I'm sure there was steps to it and move texture brushes and stuff like that. But I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna do that, chat. What do you, what do you think this is? This is free education. <laughs> but can you call this education? I please don't. You think I, you think, you think I have all the time in the world? All right. <laughs> uh, so you probably established uh, what he had underneath. Gave it a uh, gave it a like a smoother gradient render to it, and then went back to um, and then he went back to the texture brushes. I'm sure he only he doesn't only use. I'm sure he uses. I I can tell he uses like chalk brushes. Uh, he varies the brush the you know he he his brush uh, textures quite a lot. Has he? As he goes, so it's always a back and forth of texture, uh, texture smooth, texture smooth, texture smooth, texture smooth, and towards the end, it creates this very intricate um, look to the to the way he renders. These no these nostrils are omega big, but it's so funny to me that you don't really notice them until you start like outlining them. It's like, it just shows how fucking, like, good you are with proportions and everything else. Um, just gonna draw the eye here. Yeah, so, like, you can see how time-consuming... Rendering is very time-consuming, especially with what he's doing. It's just, like, a mix of, you know, back and forth. Just gonna add a little bit of the white of the eye. Back and forth... Uh, in textures, uh, building, building uh, the image, and then again, like I could go back to the soft, soft brush, going in there, soften some, soften some areas, and then go back in with a with a sharpen, sharp, no, with a with well, yes, technically with a sharper brush, and um, bring back some of the harder edges, and then of course we have the light. The light here is quite. Quite bright, etc. Like you can tell how like this is. I'm regret. I'm regretting rendering this now because it's gonna. In order for it to look good, it should it should say take some time, right? You know. But um, I I would bet anything. Or I I would bet some money that this would be pretty much his process soft texture and then geometric shapes and at the end i'll do it a little bit here at the end i'll even zoom in he fucking you can see that i he uses this brush he has to and he kind of treats this as a pencil and in a lot of his work from what i've noticed he just goes in there and fucking does this actually there's a lot of styles that uh do this towards the end of their their images. 
He just fucking get, goes in there. And again, this is something you, you just... I'm not doing him justice. I almost feel bad for even attempting <laughs> doing a quick render because work of his caliber is not something that's done like that fucking fast. Oh, maybe by him. But um, this is something that you definitely want to want to spend time on. But you, I mean, you can kind of see that wh where it's going, right? You can kind of see where this whole shit is going. All right? Oh, and then he has like this thing around on the side, the the rim light on the face. All right, so then here a little bit, and then there's a. And this is me a uh, color picking from the source, not even coming up with my own colors. So I'm sure he did spend a nice amount. Carson! <laughs> Hi! Oh, goddamn, Carson. Thank you for the... Thank you for the raids. We're doing... Um, we're doing... Uh, <laughs> Silver Decodes. I'll explain to you guys in a moment what it is. I'm just wrapping up this question. Um, basically, I'm taking questions from chat and demoing an answer. Hi, everyone. Um, Beepo Happies for the Raiders. Uh, I'll get to you guys in a moment, but you guys are very welcome to stick around and ask any questions. Uh, I'll explain what's happening. Uh, I'm doing something no one else is doing on goddamn art section, okay? <laughs> so it, 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 takes, it takes some of my patience and time here. All right. Anyways, chat, as, as I was saying. Uh, as you can tell, it's just a back and forth from texture, soft, like softening areas, going back to texture, then doing that very, like, uh, very scribbly methods. It's it's pretty much like a pencil pencil shading kind of way. You see, like, a, a lot of it, especially on this cheekbone. You see a lot of it here. Don't scare the new people, John. If you're easily scared by me, then you're not meant to be here. You might as well go. Um, although Carson can stay. He's a he's a sweet boy. Uh, so honestly, at this point, it's just a matter of like keep going over and over and over and over again. Anytime I would add like a shift in hue, a shift in value, whatever, I would probably use um or it looks like he would use a soft brush to give the different values to um and saturations to the character and then go back in with a texture brush and like remove the softness away and it's just a balance of that back and forth until the and uh, until the goddamn image is done right so i'll just zoom in if i zoom in really a lot then it you can tell that it's getting going there like if i if i zoom in this much i think you can kind of tell that it's pretty close <laughs> i'm kidding um, so that concludes this answer for, uh, from Dmage, um, what makes his art style, uh, distinctive. Here's a full body character. Uh, and the last answer was just a, a touch on how I would assume his render would be, uh, based on what I see, or at least how I would go about it. Um, thank you for, uh, asking a question. And um and I'll see you on the next Silver Decodes. Goodbye.